started his football career playing for a village team called Chiwagula, a Luganda word literal meaning rebel group. By then, football was a game that was associated with runaway mischievous kids. But Edgar Watson traces his success in football back to his village team. Edgar's physical appearance is not the athlete type, but this did not deter him from joining school clubs. As all as I can remember, I've always been playing uh, the ball. Mm. To me, it's just a, a change from playing from maybe home. You play at the village level, you play at a club, you play at a registered division, play for the national team, and then keep on playing even when you're not registered as a player. Mm. Edgar has played in many other local teams including Puma, Namirembe FC, St. Matia Mulumba, Miracle Football Club and Soccer Club Villa, including the national team, the Cranes. While at Soccer Club Villa, one of the most successful clubs in the country, Edgar is proud to say he won several league titles and regional cups. In all the teams he has played for, Edgar has held leadership positions from either being an assistant captain or the captain of the team. Edgar showed to the limelight when he scored the goal that brought Miracle FC to the Super Division, the topmost level a club can attain in Uganda's Football League. So that time we immediately became a, a team to look up to uh, in the Super Division. And uh, from there I think uh, I had a good career, I managed to play and go into a Sevilla. The 40-year-old tall, lanky football star has won several medals while still in active practice but honours those that looks up to him with them. Edgar is now the CEO of the Federation of Uganda Football Association, FUFA, the topmost job only answerable to FIFA, the world football governing body, but also in charge of football business in Uganda. Edgar's passion for football has brought him closer to mentoring children to love the sport and to demystify the illusion that football is a game for failures. I realized there are so many mistakes that we had passed through, but the kids around who would play after were almost doing the same problems that we had, you know, facing the same challenges that we, were, we had passed through. So an idea came to me, uh, why not start up something that could help, could help, you know, show these kids who are growing certain things to do and maybe certain things not to do. Edgar's Youth Academy program is training over 2,000 children from both the community to school level. From his backyard football pitch at his Gangu home on Busavala Road, the village children are free to jump over Edgar's fence and play the game. The father of three says teaching children football is probably the best experience of his football career. Children ranging from 4 to 18 have built a career in football, traveled to over 10 countries worldwide just to play football, and won awards that now line up the Edgar Youth Program shelves at their main offices in Old Kampala. Some of the children in his youth club have won scholarships to join international academies in Europe. So the dream I have now is uh, to take this organization to another level where we can have kids coming in, like a school. They stay in for a camp. And then we do some mentoring, some programs, because I know so many kids all over the country would want to come in, but we can't reach them. Edgar has also started teaching girls football and managed to convince parents to entrust him with their girls. Edgar has gone an extra mile with the deaf children. He trains a number of them in football. His appeal to parents is to allow their children participate in the sport they enjoy. Isabel Nakiria, NTV.